So amazing morning to everyone, especially to our instructor, Miss I Mrs. Ella, Mom Ella Argente. So, but before we start our proper discussion, I want you to look around and look for trash under your chairs, and then put it in a trash bin. Okay? In a count of ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, very good. It's okay. So, but before we start, no, uh, let us formally start this morning with a prayer. Okay, I want I, I may request everyone to please stand for our opening prayer via multimedia presentation. Okay, but before we proceed to the main topic of this class discussion, I have a question to you. So I may request Mr. Ajaliza to choose someone to answer this question. Okay. But before that, let me read the question first before you choose someone to answer. Okay? If you become a teacher someday, what do you think is your method or strategy for teaching? Again, if you become a teacher someday, what do you think is your method or strategy for teaching? Paliyugog po, sa anigay para maka-answer dahil siya. Then after sa answer niya, paansin na po ng uban. At least two. Okay? And then, proceed to na sa next topic. To the main topic. Thank you. The essence of quality education lies on the competencies of teachers. The pedagogical competence of teachers is one of them. Whether a teacher is assigned to the public or private school, his or her pedagogical competencies will make a difference in the life of the students and in the community he or she serves. There is no such thing as the best setting for competencies of teacher to take place. Teachers' competencies should grow and bloom where they are by allowing them to experiment and to innovate, especially if we want the best for our student. Good morning once again, student. Our topic for today is all about pedagogical competencies of teachers. So what is pedagogy? So, pedagogy is the study of teaching methods including the aims of education and the ways in which such goal may be achieved. So, that's it, no? Um, pedagogy refers to the theory or the practice of education, um, particularly sa mga methods and strategies used for teaching and learning. So it encompasses a wide a wide nihon a wide range of principles approach approaches and techniques aimed for facilitating the acquisition of knowledge and skills by students. So pedagogy is not limited to formal education or to formal classroom um, setting but also we can apply to various educational contexts, um, including online learnings, um, informal education, and vocational trainings. So yes, that's it. When we talk about pedagogical competencies of teacher, this refers to this refers to skill to the skill knowledge and abilities that teachers need to effectively plan deliver and assess instruction while fostering student learning and development um these competencies are crucial or important for educators as well as kanang kita ng mga future educator important ng competent as teacher so, to create a positive and productive learning environment to our learners. Okay, let me give an example of a key for pedagogical competencies that teachers should possess. So, if you become a teacher someday, um, here you should to possess. So, ikaw na teacher, meron, dapat, meron ka dapat yung mga planning or instructional planning. So, you have to plan 
So, ikaw na competent teacher, um, you should develop a um, well-structured lesson plan and curricular that align with educational standard and learning objectives. So, kapag meron ka kasing objective or lesson plan, dun mo ma-meet yung standard or educational standard sa pagtuturo mo. So, with that, no, student will be able to learn to you in ways of um, paggawa ng mga plans and that will also um, encourage students to to listen and to to co uh, cooperate or participate in your 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 whole duration of your class. So another example is so a teacher should also have effective classroom management skill. So it is an essential for maintaining a positive and organized learning environment. So kapag yung classroom, I, if you uh, if you have if you abide this kind of um, pedagogical skill, like um, kining, um, classroom management skill, um, student will also um, kanang ganado sa pag pag-aaral nila, kasi kapag meron kang classroom management skill, um, parang you make the classroom more conducive, and uh, conducive for learners, and kapag organized din yung learning environment, dun sila mas nagaganado sa pag-aaral. So that's it. So another, uh, another one, no? yung adaptability. So isa din sa, sa teacher, yung competencies nila, yung pagiging adaptive or reflective. No? Kapag ang teacher ay adaptive sa kanilang student. So for instance, um, pi, uh, di ba students are diverse. So we do not know their backgrounds or stories. So as a teacher, you should, um, you should approach them in a, bad, uh, in a good way. So that you will know on how to, not to solve their problem, but to lessen their burdens in life. So with that, no, you should also be reflective. Kung, kung, kung malalaman mo kung anong background niya, kung ano sa, nandun siya sa mga, may pinapasan siyang mga burdens. So ikaw din na teacher, you should be adaptive. You should know how to give advice. You should know how to motivate. Because that's our mission. That's our vocation to be a, to be a, a second parent to our students, di ba? To our learners. So, ganun talaga, no? Ang yung teacher. So, isa din siya sa competencies of teacher, no? Yung pagiging adaptive or reflective sa ating mga learners. Di ba? Actually, those that I have mentioned, um, those pedag pedagogical competencies are essential for effective teaching and can contribute to the student's success. So, as a teacher who continuously develop and refines these competencies are better equipped to create meaningful learning experiences and support the growth and development of their students. So, ganun. In the same vein, um, pedagogy is, it is creativity in action and seemingly bordering and emotions to further motivate the learners. Hence, every teacher is challenged to be flexible and reflective to the issues and concerns visiting our society in order to bring themselves fully into teaching according to Macro Hill 2018. Yes. So, you as a teacher, no? Um, um, you should always um, know that you have this mission or the vocation to motivate the learners. So as you as a teacher, you should be flexible um, in all ways and reflective to the issues and concern to the society or in the community or in the four corners of the classroom. So kapag, um, kapag adaptive ka kasi, as what I have mentioned earlier, you know what's background of the story of your, of the people around or your student or in the society. So you know what's 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 the thing that you should do or you should have to do kasi kapag ganun kung alam mo yung dapat mong gagawin para mabibigyan mo sila ng um kunting tulong kung sa ganun ma maagapan yung paghihirap nila especially sa mga student natin they are diverse and we do not know their background maybe they they're facing um hectic burdens so you as a teacher you should be approachable and reflective or be yeah adaptive to your students so furthermore the profession of teaching is not a distant entity from pedagogy 
so ang profession daw ay ang profession daw profession of teaching daw is dili daw siya distansya sa pedagogy so why It is because the teacher is a professional who is imbued with the four pillars of learnings and has thorough understanding that teaching is a mission, vocation, and a noble profession. Have you still remembered the four pillars of learning? Yes, these four pillars of learning has had been discussed during our second year, second semester sa teaching profession na subject. So, the four pillars are the learning to know, learning to do, learning to live, learning to live together, and learning to be. So, those are the four pillars. So, you as a teacher, you should always have the mission. So, let me ask you, you as a teacher, what is your mission? Hmm? Okay, you got it right. Okay, for the vocation. So, vocation, vocation na to ang pagiging guro, ang pagtuturo. So, uh, it is our occupation, um, occupation of being a teacher. So, vocation dyan na to ang pag-teach, di ba? And a noble profession. So, kibali, ikaw na guro, dapat you should be, um, You should be professional or uh, professional in front of your student, not just to your student, but in the community. So it is no excuses that a teacher is remiss of her, of his or her obligations to develop his or her pedagogical knowledge, which involves the general understanding of the concepts, theories, and principles for effective teaching. This is in which if he or she teaches to successfully achieve the desired learning outcomes and be carried over the community if the need arises. So, thank you for that. I will give the floor to Ms. Rajaliza to discuss the next topic that are still, uh, that related to this topic as well. Continuation pala, ganon.